Nah, this one right here is some crazy ass shit, bro. Like, imagine, right? You cooling, right? You feel me? You you go to work or you go out or some shit, and you come back. Keep in mind, yo, rent paid, yo, bill, all your bills is paid. You chilling, bro. You do what you gotta do. You a law abiding citizen, and you come back to the crib, and yo, shit cleaned out. Like yo, key not working. Yo, shit cleaned the fuck out. All your shit thrown away. All types of shit, bro. I mean, think about that, bro. And it's because they they got the wrong person, bro. We got a Dallas apartment of Vix tenants. A Vix tenant and throws all the belongings in a dumpster. But it was the wrong unit, bro. Like that. And that, that's crazy as hell, man. Run this intro so we can get into it, man. Right now on the come up, lately been talking my shit because I know I come from the gutter since I'm such a brother. Then I go pop out in all of this linen like I was a baller. How can you hate me? Deep Ellen Man says everything he and his daughter owned was thrown in a dumpster after the management of his apartment building accidentally ordered maintenance to clean out his rental. Yeah, it turns out apartment management had the wrong unit number, and now that it's man fucking says crazy, he's out bro. tens of thousands of dollars. Building management argued he never should have been living there. And to begin with, consumer reporter Steve Novio. I'm suing everybody in that mouth, You see a couch here, a TV stand with the TV. After Johnny Abney spent years building a life This was my daughter's snack drawer For himself and his nine-year-old daughter That's crazy, a closet bro. Full of clothes. This is all that's left of their stuff Everything gone Everything they own Clothing items, all my groceries They cleared out my whole refrigerator full of groceries Is gone That's insane, bro Not stolen, thrown in the dumpster By order of the management at the Hamilton The high-end mid-rise apartment building Where Johnny and his daughter lived yeah, in the deep Gotta get a bottle there dumpster. Man. They came to my door and cleaned everything out from my daughter's clothes to my clothes to everything from a toothbrush, bathing items like they pretty much left me with nothing. It's all in this police report Johnny filed when he returned home from work in late July to find his apartment door unlocked and the contents cleared out. According to the reports. Well, I tell you, I would be so like, I don't even know what I would say, what I would do, because this is wild. Bro. Narrative, a leasing agent on site said there was a misunderstanding and maintenance accidentally cleared out Abney's unit instead of the unit nah, next door. Misunderstanding my ass, being bro. Y'all niggas need to run me my bread, All of bro. Johnny's belongings had been thrown in the dumpster hours earlier and had been picked over by the other residents. This is video Johnny took of his discarded stuff. He says his mattress had been urinated on. Not only did they put my stuff out, they watched people take all my property all day. Property That's management crazy, offered to get what they bro. could from the trash and return it to Johnny's unit. Johnny said they even had that stained mattress professionally cleaned, but most of his and his daughter's stuff was gone. Nah, y'all gotta run me checks, bro. Fuck, fuck all that getting up to now. Y'all getting me new shit. No, fuck that professional cleaning. But no, y'all running me bread. Y'all running me new shit. All that. Nah, get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas, niggas ran up at my shit. I pay for my shit, bro. Not only my shit, but my all this shit, bro. Tossing out clothing, all type, bro. Get the nah. Fuck that. Run me my shit. Run me my money, nigga. Fuck all that extra shit, bro. One, they just completely just broke it. Much of what did make it back from the dumpster, he showed us, was damaged. They told me that it was a mistake. They apologized the first night. They were overly apologetic. Like, you let us know anything missing. But that quickly took a turn. Even though it was your stuff, it's her apartment. It's under her name. The contract is in her name and her name solely. This is video Johnny Who's recorded name? of a conversation he had with one of the leasing agents who was quick to point out the apartment in which he and his daughter lived was leased by his ex-girlfriend who had since moved out of state. Johnny was subletting without permission and even though these receipts provided to us by an attorney for the Hamilton show that Johnny paid the near $3,000 in rent each month, any direct discussion about making him whole was off the table. We are by, like, by law. We cannot discuss anything with anybody that is not her. According to this lawsuit Johnny has now filed against the property management company, they gave him 24 hours to fill out his own rental application or face eviction. I've already lost property now you're trying to kick me off the property at short notice with no resolve here's the eviction that's it was posted so he so they tossed out 
all his shit and now they're trying to evict him? Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Niggas to do anything to not take responsibility for their fucking actions, bro. On his door the next Just because they can, painful. bro. There was no reason to go into his apartment. There was no reason to throw anything away. Jason Friedman is Johnny's attorney. He says the issue of who was on the lease is irrelevant. The apartment building, they didn't know when they threw all that stuff away, whose stuff it was. Exactly, Whether bro. Whether it was the person on the lease or his. And adds, Johnny chose not to fill out the application or pay the fee required for one very simple reason. He chose not to because he said, I want to resolve the situation with my property that you threw away before I decide if I'm going to stay in this building. An attorney for the Hamilton, who would That's not speak insane, to us on camera, bro. but did communicate by phone and email, said on behalf of the building, even if Johnny did fill out the rental application, he would have been denied because he already violated the lease terms as an unauthorized occupant. With me losing all my property, like, that's the last thing on my mind. According to the lawsuit, the Hamilton also alleged there was counterfeit money pulled from Johnny's things. Another reason they say he would not be welcome to stay. It don't, bro. There was no counterfeit money pulled from his shit them niggas is just chatting bro like get the fuck out of here bro provide a police report photos or the video fuck out of here bro. at all they provided none they left me without underwear toothpaste everything back at johnny's among the discarded pile of trashed school supplies with which his daughter was supposed to start the fifth grade we found our own this play money clearly marked as copy Right next to what's left oh. of his daughter's bed. Okay, so it was his the daughter's stuff. To the Hamilton via their attorney, they all so they did for a counter for money. They would not sit down with us for an on-camera interview. They did say... Man, you got some evil people in this world, man. I swear, bro. Man, I, I hope this dude can get his stuff together, man. I... Man, prayers up to this, man. I hope, I hope whatever lawsuit that he filed, he wins that. And I pray that he comes out some money in his pocket brand new apartment and all types of stuff because that's insane bro let me catch you on the next video man